All data that the S monitoring function reads is automatically stored in the controller's file system. It can be accessed via FTP. To do this, you need to know how the data is structured and where it is saved in the file system. That's what this tutorial is about. In order for the controller to read the data, make sure that the function is set up in the device configurator and that the right port is selected for automatic SBUS meter reading. Open an FTP program to connect to the controller. Enter the controller's IP plus the username and password specified in the device configurator's FTP settings. Once you've connected to the controller, you see the controller's individual memory locations. This controller has an internal memory and also an inserted M1 memory card. Each day, one value for each meter is saved in the internal memory. The data is always organized the same way. There's an energy log subfolder containing two folders. In the SBUS folder, you can find all connected SBUS meters data and the folder counter includes data from all custom counters made in Fupla. For each year, there's another subfolder in which for each meter address, here address one, a file is added. On opening this file, you see that for each day when the controller was on, one energy value was saved at midnight. In the device configurator, we've also set up five minute logging of files to the M1 flash. If this function is selected, a log five minutes folder is automatically added to the M1 flash, where CSV files are also saved. For each meter address, one file is added for each month. Here you see the month of October for address 1 and also November for address 1. On opening this file, you see that the energy value is saved every five minutes for the whole month. The FBOX's auxiliary values are also saved in this file. So, alongside the actual energy meter values, you can also log other values, like temperatures, and so on. Saving files in the file system enables you to access the data via FTP and to integrate it into other programs.